friends, this is a timely conversation. Mm -hmm. Whether it is a friend that lingers way after the party is over, or a family member whose dough jokes, you know, they're just not quite right. Today we are taking a look at how to handle some of those awkward situations that seem to come up around the holidays. Yeah, these are the scenarios that are all too calm in this time of year. But joining us now to offer her advice is Chief Etiquette Officer mm -hmm. Julie Blake Como. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Good morning. All right, let's start. We're, we're at work, so let's start with some office parties. You don't really feel like going, but should you go? Well, pop quiz this morning. Holiday office party. Three words. Which one is the key word? Uh, party? Party? <laughs> party? <laughs> office. So it's like an intra-company networking event. You're there to spread joy. Your employer has spent money. There probably was a committee. They invested time, invested monies. So you go. You don't have to stay the whole time, but make sure that you're there. You congratulate someone that may he got a promotion, maybe there's a new baby, mm -hmm. go and introduce yourself to the newcomers on the team, thank your employer, thank the organizing committee, voila, you can go, but you must go. Okay. I like that. Instead of focusing on the party, focus on the office. It makes it yes. easier. Yes, yes. And spread joy. You're not there to negotiate next year a contract. <laughs> You're not there to talk about your upcoming promotion. You're there to celebrate. Okay, that's some really good advice. Let's switch it up now to, let's mm -hmm. say, a party that you're hosting. Mm -hmm. And what if you have a guest who has a dietary restriction? Yes. I'm thinking they're vegan or they're vegetarian. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who then is responsible for the food? The responsibility for the allergy is that of the person with the allergy. Oh. As a host, as a hostess, imagine, Brendan yeah. and Marie, you have like 20 guests. You can't make sure to please everybody. So if I am allergic, I'm going to say, I'd love to come to your party, but you must know I'm fatally allergic to shellfish. If you wish, I'd like to contribute X, Y, Z. Okay. So you bring something along. Now, if it's a small gathering, maybe two couples, maybe three couples, then you're going to make sure. You're going to say something like, We'd love to host you. Um, is there anything that we should be aware of to make you comfortable while you're with us? That's good advice. Uh, all right. This next one is also parties that can happen in your home. It's starting to wind down. Uh -huh. Most of the guests have left. The lights are going out. <laughs> but there's always those people who just will not leave. What is your protocol as a host and also as a guest? Yeah, Protocol is a good word because <laughs> it's in different steps and it's a gradual process. So you're going to go from the dining room. You're going to go into the living room. Mm -hmm. As you said, the lights go up. The music go down. Anybody would like coffee? Is it time maybe to call for Uber? taxi and as a guest usually you can count about 45 minutes to an hour right. after the meal has finished where it's maybe time to go and if you want to avoid any of those moments as host as hostess put an end time on the invitation mm -hmm. and Smart. that works and if the party is going and you know what yeah. everybody's under the disco ball <laughs> yay <laughs> you, you can decide to keep it going disco ball i want to go to your party i know i love a good disco ball <laughs> um let's talk about the guests though yes. because what if you're friends with a couple that recently divorced? Mm. This is sticky. Yeah. Do you invite both? Do you let them handle it? Do you pick a side? First of all, as a couple yourselves, you're going to have a strategy. You're mm -hmm. going to decide, OK, maybe you heard that somebody's really hurt. Maybe mm -hmm. you heard that the other person, you may have heard different things, because one of them could be your BFF. Right? Yeah. So you want to make sure that you strategize. Once you've established that and you know what's happening in their lives, you can very well decide to invite both couples. You let them know ahead, and then they can decide what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But you must strategize as a couple to make sure that you're protecting your friendships as mm -hmm. well. Make sure you're on the same page. Yeah, yes. good advice. <laughs> Julie, thank you so much for being here this you're morning. You're welcome. I'm Happy sure our holidays. viewers are going to take this advice to heart. We need it. All right.